Hey, what's up, you fuckers? AKA Ura Gangsters. Yo, Ura here. All right, this is probably not my intro part, but actually, I'm gonna make my intro our part. All right, so cue the vlog. Peace. What's up, you fuckers? Just at the range, scratching the itch. No, Alright, so you caught up to me on the zipper. Caught up to you. Check it out. <laughs> but I got there first, so it's all about who gets there first. Three, two. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Let me get set it. Three, two, one, go. I don't know if I got that. One went fucking down. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible, man. Run right here. One. Wait, you where's know, the other one? I don't know. You, oh, missed, yeah, you missed the other one. No, that's it. No, you right you did two or three? I did two. Oh, I did two? Alright, let me do two. You record me this time. Man, watch me destroy your ass, though. One bullseye. Hey, wow, you're <laughs> fucking way worse than me. <laughs> no? Yes, you You didn't even hit it. <laughs> okay, but we're talking about distance wise. Okay, grouping. Alright, fine, fine, Look fine. At that. That's there you go. Oh, I blew it all out though. Good ass grouping, man. That's what. I, that's what. That's a real grouping right there, dude. This is untrained shooting versus trained shooting. Oh, you gotta be fucking shitting me, man. I got a freaking 500 whooping freaking dollars of a ticket for rolling a freaking red light. I stopped for a second, like one second, right? Like, but it wasn't long enough. It was one second of a stop. It has, it has a time on it. It has pictures and everything. My license plate, my freaking face. All right, guys. I'm running, I'm running out of gas, so I'm just gonna waste this last few. We're speeding you through. Oh yeah! Woo! Oh, it's, it's pretty late, but I tried. <laughs> Damn, dude, the Pinoy got a new bike. Looks freaking sexy. Damn, that is a pretty damn freaking nice bike, though. It is so nice looking. Here you go, man. <laughs> Yo. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go see a really big dog. The pops, my dad's freaking yelling at him. Shit, it's fucking huge. Oh. Stay. Yeah, so big. So huge. Got a job, bro. Oh my gosh, it's huge. You better hold. Jeez. It's freaking big. Oh, I hate doing marine, annual marina courses. Yo, I'm sure I'm not hearing shit. I'm watching this gun documentary shit. Outside, I hear a burst fire. I'm pretty sure it's from an assault rifle. I, it's a very distinct, distinctive sound. Pretty sure. I hope it goes off again. That shit was fucking badass. I'm pretty sure it's probably from like a law enforcement officer or whatever. But that shit was. It was. It was a fucking rifle. I know it was. Unless there's a fucking shooting around here. Holy shit, guys! Fucking dying out here. I hate cardio days. I gotta do it. CFT's gonna come up for me next Friday. I'm running with these 20 pound barbells around the track and everything. And after that, do some squats. 20 pound squats, nothing too big. I already ran a couple miles, so I'm fucking dead. But go and get yourself some.
glad you enjoyed the vlog. Welcome back. Sorry, I didn't have a lot of clips to show you guys because you know I don't bring a camera with me every day around around me every day. Okay, and um, you know, happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there. Thank you for serving and all that. You guys probably do more uh, than I'll ever do in my service. And the people that are going into the Marine Corps or into the military will probably still do more um, in their service than me um, because I really I, I doubt I'll ever do any of my career to be honest. Um, and happy birthday to all you Marines out there, by the way. Uh, sorry I couldn't release a video on those two days, two days because like I said, I have a life and I'm busy. Um, anyways, let's get started with today's topic. It, this topic was said on one of my really old YouTube videos and it's actually a really old topic um, that I never covered. And I, I've been thinking about, you know, how I never really made boot camp videos, you know, boot camp tips, even though that was like three years ago. I mean, not that long ago, but you know, if I was active duty, I would have one more year enlistment. But since I'm reservist, only I have, you know, three more years on my, on my, on my enlistment. So, okay. Um, so it was kind of a long time ago. Um, so I, I decided to make a bootcamp video because I feel like I haven't made it in a long time. But he basically asked, you know, Joseph Mendoza basically asked uh, how to mentally prepare for bootcamp, and the answer to that is you can't. Um, and I don't know if I made a video similar to this already, but you can't. You can't mentally prepare yourself for uh, boot camp. You can only, I said it physically. Yes, be fit, you know. But after that, it's all mental game. It's 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 a test. If you can actually mentally prepare yourself for a boot camp, then boot camp wouldn't be as hard. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, boot camp for me was hard, and, and it's hard for a lot of people. And people says, say. You know that they will go back and do it all over again. I doubt that you ever will. Um, you know, waking up at like zero five every day and getting screamed at and doing playing fuck fuck games all fucking day. But you can't really mentally prepare for yourself for boot camp. You can know about it, right? Like I knew a lot about boot camp. However, you can't really understand it. You know, when you're in it, it's like it's like being it's like working out. You know, you're motivated to work out, right? And but you know. You think you can do it, but you know when you're actually doing, it, you become all tired, and the motivation goes away. Kind of same as boot camp. You can't really prepare for it because your motivation goes away, and you don't really understand um, the, the the feeling of it and the experience of it because you you never been through it. You know, you never been through anything like that in any time in your life, unless you went through like devil pups. But devil pups, that's like that's a really dumbed down, easy version of boot camp. You know, everything is easy. It's easy compared to boot camp. I thought devil pups is hard. But you know, it's actually much harder. I mean, bootcamp is actually much harder than that. They say it's the same thing, but it's not. Um, and honestly, a lot in bootcamp, a lot of the, the easy part, need, you need motivation. Because motivation is what drives you through, and sadly, motivation dies. And quoting on the beast here, give credit to him, all right? And, and it's very true, what he said. Um, bootcamp and anything related to motivation, takes discipline because motivation runs out. So so yes, it's going to be hard and you're gonna be put to the test. That's why it's a test of if you're good enough for the core and it's a test of your strength and your willpower and your discipline. That's what boot camp is for, is to test how much you can take. It's to, to put put you down all the way to your breaking point and um, you know build you back up. And if you're strong enough and more disciplined enough, uh, to accept that and to keep pushing through when things get really hard, welcome to the family, welcome to the brotherhood of the Marine Corps, okay? And that goes for, you know, all active duty members, all MOSs and all reservists out there. We all go through the same crap. We all go through the same boot camp and everything, okay? It's a true test of your willpower. So you cannot, as, as sadly as to say, you cannot mentally prepare yourself for boot camp. You can't, you just can't, you don't know what to expect. And it's impossible for me to explain every single detail of boot camp because I don't remember every single detail of boot camp. All I know is that it sucked. So you can ask any Marine, you know, as many Marines as you can about how you can prepare, mentally prepare yourself for boot camp and they're gonna give you the really similar answers to my, to, to my answer because you can't. And I know you guys really are scared to go in and, and not know what, what to expect, but that's, it's kind of like the fog of war. You don't know what to expect. And that's just how boot camp is designed. You never know. It just it's to teach you to adapt and overcome. All right. So hope you enjoy the video. All right. I promise I'll upload once a week, and I am. Okay. But anyways, if you like the video, thumbs up. You do you. And Monica is just chilling here. Guess what? Mr. President ran away. Pissed me off. That unfaithful piece of fat cat. 
But I mean, I, I miss him. I hope he comes back. They usually come back, but I don't freaking know. But Monica stays, so she's good. She's faithful. I, I liked her more anyways. I'm sorry to say that. But you do you, and if you get jiggy, you better wrap your piggy. Thanks for watching. Ooh,